Hello everybody, um, welcome back to more of The Walking Dead in the last episode. Um, so we started the game off. Wasn't really expecting the episode to be that long though, but yeah. Also last night, the audio, my, my voice wasn't really that great. Because I was recording this at night. I was recording that at night and I was very close to my computer. I was on my bed. My computer was also on my bed, but it wasn't. But yeah. So, in this episode, we're going to help people around with their chores or something. I think that's what they wanted us to do. So, let's check with somebody. Like him. Where'd my little mouse thing go? Okay, I see, I see it. Hey. Hey there, kitty. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Uh? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh... Nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son How's doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. What's your so plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. <laughs> So, wait, I can I grab something over here or something? No? I really can't? This is like my first time playing on a PC, so I gotta get used to these controls. Cause I, cause I only played this game on the phone. That, that's it. Should we check one some time later? You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Oh, what the hell? Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, she looks it's salty. almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, eh? What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> How was the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. Learned you were fired. Were so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? I've got to turn off the TV in other room. You guys could probably hear other YouTubers. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? But those guns, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. 
Alrighty, so... Nothing really over here. We just gotta check in with other people. That's all we gotta do. Hmm. I was expecting it to take longer than I expect. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Look at fence. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. All right. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bags to length, that'd sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Yes. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Uh -huh. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Can we talk to him? Mm. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, who wants to listen to that? Okay. So, now we want to... No, wrong way. And hey, we can go this way. Can we, like, run, too? No, we can't. This isn't Life is Strange. I just miss Life is Strange. I really want to record that game. Like, I want to get Life is Strange for the storm. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Say what? I'm not sure I'd follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. Uh, on foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. This farm's a nice Back plot of land. How do you know I was you told me 20 years honest. ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Maine with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. 
What? Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. I was. You have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Mad at me? Well, I say duck. <sighs> oh, he's going to be furious with me. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I. What? I'm sorry. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Will do. Goodbye. I, 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 I don't like your bitchy old ass anyway. Let's just go. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh god, this can't be good. This cannot be good. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Do you have the controls? I don't want the controls. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. 
worse. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids to be us. dangerous. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Cleo. Oh wait, I gotta pause it. There's a notification popped up and it's messing up everything. Okay. There. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. Oh God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Ooh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you get it. It's a big deal. Dude, it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another he way. He's a bitch. Yeah, I don't shovel. like him. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about... As you should. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then... When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Oh man. Oh. Jesus! Oh, I don't have to control anything, do I? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! You okay? <sighs> that was insane. That was insane. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Dad! Ah! Ah! 
I don't like him anyway, so I don't really care what happens to him. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. Mm. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Naples. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alrighty, so we gotta get him those pills. Get him the pills. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so we gotta get pills for him. Where's an office? That I don't want to talk to anyone. Where's the office at? That's the restroom. Is there an office? Is this the office? Loading. There's Clementine. Tyne, I keep saying Tyne. Clementine. I can't think about them in here. So Clementine is walking with us, so she's gonna be joining us. I don't think that's safe, but she wants to. So do we really have to go in like another way or something? door leads to the back alley. I don't think we want to go in here. This is the office. Oh, here is the pharmacy. We gotta... Wait, let's look at clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay, two. Boom. A stick. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Mm -hmm. I really meant my dad, though, so... Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? If you want. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers on the drawers. But if you die, it won't be on me, though. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Well, we you'll go. just hope. Do you 
have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. Just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Oh, no, I meant to press number Things one. Happened and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Okay. It hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Okay, let's get you a first aid kit. Okay. I'll find you a bandage. I see the. I know where the first kit. Is, first aid kit is. It's right here. Right here. Right here. Um, come on, mouse. Dang it! The cord. It got under my mouse. Okay. Um, dude. There. Bandages should be in here. Yes, there we go. Got one. I'll go to Clementine. And... I think that's the Lee? bandage option. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that thing. Ow. It hurt. Ooh, let's see if we can do something about it. That is a really bad cut. This way. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There we go. Um, boom. There we go. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Are they in this drawer? It's the remote to my dad's TV. A remote? So let's, let's put on a little cartoon or something. That's what I figured. Oh, we're not gonna watch TV? Really? We can't just sit in here, hang out? came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protect her, at least. Oh, man, I really gotta go back out here. I don't wanna go back out here with all these bitchy-ass people. Um... I don't see anything else I can interact with. It looks like we have to go out here. Now we gotta go behind the counter. Behind the counter. I'm pretty sure that's where the keys are. At least I hope so. That's the ATM. Don't need any money here.
Wait, no, that, we're not even behind the counter. How do we, we can't even get... let anything happen to Ducky? I know, hon. Back here. There we go. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? saw a chance to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Alrighty. Okay. So. Energy bar. Is there like any keys? Get it. Wait, are we? But I want to get the keys first. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Newspaper. No keys anywhere. Uh, photographs. Um, we just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Um, don't see anything here. There's an energy bar. Really, really gonna like reach out, reach over the counter and grab it. Really? Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Taking all these energy bars. They're all for me. None none of you guys get some. It's for me, though those two who are over there by the food place. Examine ATM. Let's get some dough. It's not damaged. Man, this place didn't get looted. Oh wait, there's some money in here? Oh, I think there is. Alright guys, so that is all the time we have for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode, we're going to go to the motor inn and save Try Doug. How can I with those things out there? And until then, I'll see you guys soon with more of The Walking Dead. Bye guys.